Yeah, so uh, we need to determine the number nine to determine the time of death if a corpse is 79 Fahrenheit when discovered at 3 p.m. and 68 Fahrenheit three hours later. So that's at 6 p.m. And assume that the temperature of the surrounding, the room that the person was found, is 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the normal body temperature is 98.6 Fahrenheit on average. Okay? And being a detective on this case, you are asked to figure out the uh, time of death uh, when the murder happened. So again, we will exploit Newton's law of cooling, yeah? And Newton's law of cooling says that rate of change of temperature with respect to time is equal to K proportional to the change between the temperature at any time T and the temperature of the surrounding. And we are told that the temperature of the surrounding is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? And so we'd have to solve that differential equation using separation of variables because it's a separable differential equation. So you know how to do that? It's going to be similar to what we did earlier, yeah? So I will plug in surrounding for TS. So over 60 equals KPT. And we will go ahead and integrate both sides here. And when we integrate both sides, of course, we will get Lm t minus 60 absolute value is equal to kt plus the constant of integration C. And now we will invoke the initial conditions in the problem to solve for C. So we will start time of death at t equals zero. So we will assume t zero equal t at zero, which is equal to uh, or actually it might be more convenient to just or easier to just start t equals zero at 3 p.m. at 3 p.m. so uh, it's 79 degrees at 3 p.m. So that means T at zero is 79 degrees. So plugging this in, we get LN 79 minus 60 equals zero plus C. And we will solve for C. And C turns out to be LN 19. And also we are told that three hours later from T equals zero, so that T of three is 68. Degrees. And that enables us to substitute and star and figure out our K. So then we get LN 68 minus 60 equals 3K plus C. So So we're looking for K. 
because we've already determined C. So that's ln. 68 minus 60 is ln 18 minus C, which is ln 19 over 3. So ln 18 minus ln 19 is ln 18 over 19 by the properties of logarithms. And now we know that the average temperature of a living human body is uh, 98.6 degrees that happened during the time of death, which we don't know, measured from 12 noon. So we can go ahead and solve for a time when T was 98.6, having modeled the system with a differential equation that we know all the constants for. So it's fully characterized. So T equals 98.6 Fahrenheit. T equals question mark. So we will substitute in star. To solve for that. So Ln ninety eight point six minus sixty equals KT plus C and I will substitute K and C shortly here. So T will equal LN uh, 38.6 minus C which turned out to be LN 19 over K, which is LN 18 over 19, divided by 3. And the algebra here looks fairly straightforward. So we've got LN Nineteen point six over LN eighteen over nineteen times three. And if we use a calculator, to figure this out. You will get uh,
so that would be the T um, measured from 3 p.m. backwards, yeah. Uh, oops. Uh, this is 38 over 19. Sorry about that. It's division of the watts. So this is uh, 38.6 over 19. And if we carry this operation on the calculator, we get. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 38.6. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hundred and seventeen. Well, minus hundred and seventeen, which makes sense because I'm starting t equals zero at three p.m. and the guy obviously died before that. Right. So if my system uh, is starting at three p.m., yeah, time would make sense to be negative. Yeah. Because the differential yeah. equation begins before that. Mm -hmm. Before. That. After that. Well, yeah, no, the way after, I set it up, yeah, it, begins, it after begins after. The, after the zero point. So when you solve it, when you solve the differential equation, you are actually saying that, this you know, the temperature before, adheres to this yeah. right at 3 p.m. onwards. Yeah. Yeah. So we get basically 118 hours before 3 p.m. So that's a few days there. It would have cooled. Uh, it would have. Um, Here, let's review the algebra. Well, it would have cooled a lot. Um, it went. It went down from seventy nine to sixty eight in three hours. So it should have gone from ninety eight to seventy nine in a comparable amount of time, or probably faster because it was. Uh, Hold on. Let me see. So T is zero seventy nine, so okay. Okay, so plug in zero, we got uh, C is O and 19, and then uh, three hours later, um, we got down to 68, okay. oh, I see, 68 minus 60 is 8, not 18, yeah. so here we go. So that's uh, okay. Let's fix this. Uh, keep working, but I'll fix the mistake. Are you on the right track? Okay, so this is 18, which makes all the difference here. So that's uh, okay now 98.6. So that's uh, so this guy here becomes an 8. Um, and this guy here is an 8. Okay, so let's adjust that.
Okay, much more reasonable now. Seven hours. Seven hours, uh, 7.4 hours. Um, so let me fix that here. So this is minus, of course, because as we discussed, it's before t equals 0, 7.4 hours. And uh, sure, it would have taken that much longer because isn't it, um, it's, it's quite a, because this is closer to the. That's, for, that's from 3 p.m. Yeah. That's from well, uh, the the temperature from uh, seventy nine to sixty eight. Um, that's eleven degrees, mm -hmm. and it's much closer to the surrounding temperature than ninety eight point six. Mm -hmm. so no, no, that that seems to me fairly uh, reasonable. No, every one hour. Is 60 minutes. Yeah. Or uh, let's just uh, so that would be what so 7.37 takes 7 away and then multiply that by 60 so that happened so the time was actually time of death was uh, so we're starting t equals 0 at uh, 3 p.m. Um, so that's um, we're going to go backwards 7 hours so that's um, 3, 4, that's 8 a.m. And then we're going to take away 22 and a half minutes. So 60 plus that. So 37.5. So time of death happened at 7 a.m. 7.37 minutes. And the 0. 0.5 times 60 is 30 seconds. So 7, 37 a.m. and 30 seconds is where the person died. Uh, this concludes uh, this uh, interesting problem uh, regarding some detective work using mathematics.